Boom! Back in the tub. Yeah, yeah. Back in the tub of YouTube. Yeah, finding our greatness. That's a long journey. That's not easy. That's not easy. There's moment. There's moment. I have low high sometimes. I have low high. I have to admit. Because uh, I don't know. Sometimes I say to myself, I've done so much. But there's a lot of stuff that happened. But I mean, I don't know. I just keep on pushing. And I think something will happen eventually that I will reach the goal that I want, which is speaking on stage. I want to speak on stage. I want to... Uh... But I'm looking at the ways to get there. I'm looking at the ways to get there and how could I make this happen, like m mixing the flow of letting it happen and making it happen. So that's where I am. So that's why sometimes I have a bit of low highs because I would like to... I would like it to happen like like I would be ready now I think I would be ready now to speak in front of uh, thousands of people or even a hundred or a crowd of conscious people I'm ready for that now. I've done my homework enough now. so that's why sometimes I feel like uh, I don't feel like giving up because I will never give up but I feel like uh, it's not coming as fast as I would like to but I'm conscious also that everything takes timing and I have to be patient. I have to be patient with life. Just do my thing. Keep on doing my thing. Keep on doing my thing. Keep on rising. Keep on shining. And one day it will come. It will come for sure. If you have abundance within, like I said, if you have abundance within, you can have abundance on the outside too. But you must give first. So I'm giving, giving, giving. I know the divine is hearing me. Someone else is going to judge me on that path. The divine. Probably the only one. But he knows what I'm doing. The, I, I have that feeling that someone comes and... Uh, not someone, but... Uh, the, the, the help from the divine will come in forms of people and circumstances. As much as if you don't help people, uh, same thing will happen. You will have obstacles in your way in the form of circumstances or people. But if you give, give, give and you're aligned with the good vibrations and stuff. No. I don't think you can really fail. Failure is only a state of mind, I think. I don't think I ever fail in my life. I've tried. I've tried many, many things. And I think that's what life is for, trying things. Now I want to try even more. Now I want to try big things. Uh, it's, just, it's just because I always tried stuff, but maybe uh, too small and stuff. Now I want to try big things. I think big, 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 for sure. That's what I think is the the key to uh, ascension is to start thinking big, think big and hack bigger, always. Nice sky, it's all there. there's no cloud. It's gonna be supposedly nice the next three days. Eh? I don't know how can they predict the weather like that. That's another mystery, and eh? the weather prediction. But they go by pattern also. And they have radar and stuff. They must be able to sense what's in the cloud. I saw something the, the went yesterday. You know the, how we're confused and how we're inventing stuff and putting stuff online just to confuse people. Apparently in India there was a place that rock was raining from the sky. Yeah. A guy posted a video on the internet. He said that rock were falling from the sky in the form of rain. It was raining rocks. Like, come on, people. And then they were saying, the judgment day is here. It's raining rock. God, Allah is sending rocks. <laughs> it's, it's like nonsense. But that's where we're caught up in a lot of nonsense. UFOs. And, oh, so much stuff out there to confuse people. The alien invasion, fake alien invasion is coming. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. And people at one point 
will believe in that also in alien invasion. That, that's what they prepare the world for, I think. A fake alien invasion. <laughs> I can see that happening. That would be bad. Like movies, and they sub movies about that. What's one that was V, I think, or something? Yeah. It's very much uh, filled with madness and. Uh, but there's hope, there's always hope because we, the truth is being spoken. I don't think we should be uh, preoccupied with how it's gonna happen or if it will happen or Babylon is falling. It's falling because if ju just if one of us starts speaking truth, it's the end of Babylon. So how many people have started speaking truth in, during the ages that like look back behind the, at the history and uh, come on, not the only one. But, but it's an awakening time. It's a time where humanity is waking up and realizing that we are much more as a whole than what we've been told. Né? That's why they separate us, the divide and conquer, né? <laughs> for sure. Because the moment we're going to unite our forces and uh, stop acting out of ego and uh, greed and share more love and spread the love we have the solutions we have the solution to make this world a free and beautiful world where everyone has a chance to, to rise to live their dream to... but we must give the possibility to the people to do that if you're born in a system that hey, you have very few opportunity and possibility uh, people will remain dormant they will adopt the default state but if you live in a world where you are given the opportunity and the teachings and the empowerment from birth to uh, adulthood. Uh, you're gonna live a much different life. Than you're not. Yeah. yeah, probably some will still end up with a very twisted mind. I think that's the hard default state to be. Uh, but I think we're not doing uh, too bad so far. We're we are waking up as a whole i think it's a it's a time of change we are in a time of change a time of transition also transition in between two systems maybe but i don't know it's gonna take time it's gonna take time for sure but we always been here and nothing is a nothing is broken nothing needs to be fixed the sun is still shining so there's still hope as long as the sun shines and you have breath going through your nostril there is hope there is a for sure great hope and uh, you should manifest your greatness while you still have time while you still have time tick tock tick tock goes fast goes fast look that's what i tell my children all the time it goes very fast, life goes very fast, and if you are not, come on, you don't waste your life, then don't waste your life on distractions. And I've done it, I've done it long enough in my life, I'm done with this, I'm reborn to a new state of consciousness now, new, uh, it's a new beginning, it's a new uh, hurt, it's a new, uh, it's a new me, it's a new, uh, new everything. I'm done with the old program and the nonsense and I just want to speak truth and uh, try to inspire people to reach their greatness, inspire them to, to greatness, to, to what we've been put here for, not to be uh, lobotomized and turn into living dead. Hey, we have been put with the, the intention of the Creator when He created us wasn't to us to remain living dead. You're born dead with life because of a system. Because of the world we live in, yes, we're born dead with life, but we don't have to remain dead. We don't have to remain dead. We can move out of the dead zone, of the default state. It doesn't take much. Uh, maybe change your ways and change your mindset. Change your mindset for sure, because some people have very, very, twi very twisted mindset. Some it's very, uh, it's very deep the programming in them. 
some others you will have to speak not too many words and they will catch the drift but others it's harder there's some slow learners out there it's okay we don't learn all at the same rhythm they're slow learners and it's okay he's out